Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to explain you what the idea of self-holding or seal in circuit is. Uh, assume that we have two push buttons, which I call them start and this stop, and uh, a motor is the output. By pressing the start push button, I would like to start the motor. And by pressing the stop push button, I would like to st stop the, the motor. <laughs> so we, we can start by developing the program here by inserting uh, one contact for the stop, then another contact for the start, and a coil for the motor. In the visualization, I'm going to uh, yeah, to add the visualization window here, and then over there I will place one push button for the start, one push button for the stop, and one pilot ramp for the motor. And then I'll go, uh, I'll continue to explain the idea of the self-holding or ceiling circuit. All right, so here we should have our visualization window shortly. Here it is. I'm going to add those components and then I will come back again. Okay. Uh, all right, so here I have placed two push buttons for the start and the stop. They are momentary ones, keep, in, keep it in mind, and have a pilot time for the, for the motor. So if I do log in and then run the code, you will see uh, the operation in this sense. So I press start. The, the motor restarts, and then if I release it, the motor will stop immediately. And keep in mind that in this case, the stop push button is a normally uh, closed one. So whenever I press it, it will open. If I release it, it will close, as you can see here in the program as well. But what I would like to do is to to, to press the start push button and release it, and then motor keeps uh, its state, so it will be turned on even if I release the start push button afterwards, yeah? and whenever I press, when I whenever I press the stop, the motor will stop. So one way to do it is to modify the program in this way that we add a parallel contact to the start, which gets its information from the motor coil. So here, if I add in the ladder elements, if I add a parallel contact, which is here, and associate it with the motor coil. I will get what I had in mind, and uh, okay, let's uh, log in again. And then, uh, whenever I run the program, you will see that if I press the start push button, uh, okay, so it wasn't initialized properly. So if I press the start push button, the you, you see that the, the data regarding the stop is, is false. And if I press the start push button, the motor will be turned on. If I release the start push button, which you see here that the state is false, uh, the motor will be powered with, with the another pass, which is here through the stop, motor, contact, and then motor coil, with that, as we see here. If I press the stop right now, the motor will turn off and it will remain turned off until next time I press the start button. So this is the idea that we have for self-holding or seal in circuit. I hope this helps you in understanding the principle. Thanks again for watching.